In this quick video, I'm gonna be going through how to create events inside of Google Tag Manager to send to Google Analytics. I have put all of this information inside a PDF with some additional resources, which you can download. The link is in the description. Let's jump into Google Tag Manager. So to create an event for Google Analytics in Google Tag Manager, we're first gonna to need to log into your Google Tag Manager account. We're gonna to go to Tags on the left-hand side, and then we're gonna click on the New button. In the Tag configuration, we're going to choose Google Analytics. Inside of Google Analytics, we're gonna choose Google Analytics GA4 event. Now we're gonna to have to paste some basic information inside of this tag. So the first thing we need to put in is the measurement ID. So if you log into your Google Analytics account, you come through to admin, you click on your data streams, you click on the data stream that you wanna track, you'll have your measurement ID. You can copy your measurement ID, go back to your Google Tag Manager account, and you can paste your measurement ID here. It's gonna tell you if it found that account or not. Then we're going to need to name the event. So for this, I'm just gonna set up a test event, which is going to fire when someone lands on the login page of my website. So I'm gonna name this login page, which means that every time someone goes to the login page of the website, we are gonna track an event called login page. The next thing we're gonna need to do is configure the triggering. So the triggering is when is this event actually going to happen? We want it to happen on the login page of our website and I don't have a trigger for that. So we're gonna to need to set one up. So when we click on triggering, we're gonna click on the plus icon in the top right hand corner. Trigger configuration. We're gonna set it for page view because we wanna we want to track when someone lands on the page that, uh, on the login page that we're trying to track. But now it's not all page views, it's only some page views. It's only the page view of the login page. So we have to change this to some page views. We're gonna change this to path, uh, page URL. We're gonna leave it as contains and we're gonna go to the login page and we're gonna copy the, the URL. We can copy the full URL like that and we can paste it there. So what we're saying here is if the page view contains login, we want to track this event. So we're gonna save, it's gonna ask us to name it. So we're gonna name it something specific so we know exactly what it is in the future. Now we have a Google Analytics event set up to fire on the login page of our website and send that from Google Tag Manager to Google Analytics. So we're gonna save this and it's gonna ask us to name it and we are going to again be specific so we can see this, so we know what this is in the future. I'm gonna click save. And now we can firstly preview if it's gonna work. So we're gonna select the preview button. This is just previewing that Google Tag Manager is firing it on the correct page. So we're gonna copy our URL. What I'm gonna do is I'm only gonna copy the home page of our URL. I'm gonna look at the home page first. So we're gonna click continue. It's going to open our website in the debug mode. There we have the website open in the debug mode. It's gonna open a little tag assistant connected uh, box at the bottom of the page to tell us that it is connected. We can come back to the tag assistant and now we can see what tags were fired and what tags were not fired. So on our home page, we can see that our the tag that we've just created for the login page 
is sitting over here in the not fired. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go click on login to take us to the login page. So now we can see that on the login page, our Google Analytics event for login has fired. So we can close our tag assistant. We can close here and we're going to submit this container. We're just gonna name the version and we're gonna select publish. We have now published that container. So we can come back to our Google Analytics account now and we can go to the reports and then real time. We're just gonna come back and we're gonna reload our login page. Once we've done that in the real time report, we can now have a look to see if we have the login page event tracking. So if we come down to the real time and we move to event count here, what we can see is we have a event for login page. If we no longer wanted to track this event, so if we want to delete this event from tracking inside of our Google Analytics account, we're gonna to have to do that now inside of Google Tag Manager. So you can come back to your Google Tag Manager and the easiest way to do this is just to come to the tag that's containing the event that's being sent to Google Analytics and we can pause this event. So we select the pause button. When we select the pause button, we're gonna see it's got a little yellow icon that shows pause next to it. We can delete it, but let's pause it for now. And then we're gonna submit this container. So we're going to rename the description. We're going to publish the container. And now when we go back to preview mode, we're gonna see that that container is no longer firing, which means that it's no longer sending that event to GA4. Please subscribe to my channel. I put digital marketing content, GA4, and lots of other platforms out weekly. I also have a GA4 course, which you can take, and the link is in the description. If you have any questions, you can join the Discord server. The link is also in the description.